Hi there, this is Charlie and in this video I'm going to show you how you can replace uh, items that appear in your media library. Now by default when you install WordPress uh, it will allow you to upload things into your media library but it won't allow you to just replace them. To be able to replace an item in your media library you have to delete it. Uh, re-upload the new image or the new attachment and then go and relink everything with the new file names which is quite honestly uh, a bit of a pain uh, and it's a bit annoying particularly if uh, you're, you're developing documents that you want people to sh that you want to share with people uh, or you do a new version of it you just say yeah I just want to upload this new version and I don't want to have to go and find where I've linked it across 10 or 12 different posts saying hey have you got my new report have a look at it here so what I'm going to show you is uh, how you can do that. Now you're going to need um, a couple of things. One, you're going to need a WordPress blog, of course, and you're going to need to uh, log in to the back end. This is just a stock standard uh, WordPress install. I, I have just installed it just for this video. Uh, so there's nothing else installed on it at the moment. Uh, there shouldn't be anything in the media library, and it's just running on a standard 2017 theme. Then you're going to need two plugins, and I will show you what they are right now. Um, well, first of all, you're going to need two plugins, but before we get to that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I mean by the media library and not being able to replace uh, images or, or attachments. Uh, to upload an item into your media library, you need to go to the media menu and uh, then click on the add new link. Once you do that, it will bring up a screen where it's asking you to upload new media. I like using the drag and drop function, some people don't, uh, but I do have my stock photos library linked here. I'm just going to choose a small image uh, to, to upload. So in this case, it's going to be this cloudy thing here. Uh, using my left mouse button, I'm dragging it across into the media library. It's uploading. And you'll see that that's been uploaded. Now, if I go to my library screen, Uh, you may actually have it, I'll just bring it up, as a stock standard install it tends to bring up the gallery view of the images. I tend to move across to the list view which is uh, done in that white bar at the top of the screen just under the words media library. To the left hand side um, I choose the left hand icon because that gives me all the details uh, I need to see here. Um, so it tells me what it is, uh, it tells me who's uploaded it, where it's used, etc. If I go in um, and just mouse over it, you'll see that the only options I have is to edit it, delete it, or view permanently. Now if we go and look at it, and just click on it to go into the uh, file to get some more details on it, Again, we've got the, the thumbnail that was generated, we've got the caption, the alt text, the description that you, you can add to it, the name of the file. Uh, we also have a link here. Now, the, this link is embedded, so when you use the uh, insert media option in your posts and pages, um, through the magic of WordPress, it will end up linking back to this, to, to this link. It won't be obvious when you're doing that, but that's the link that it uses. You'll also see that there is no way to replace it. The only thing we can do here if we want to get rid of it and use a new image or we find a better image that, that, that suits our purposes better is to delete it and then upload a new image. And if you've used that image across multiple posts on your, your website, uh, you then need to go and replace that image with the new one. So it's, it's a bit annoying. There is a way around this though. You're going to need two plugins to do it. Uh, the, so what we're going to do is going to go down to the plugins uh, folder or menu item and the add new link. We're going to install the two plugins and I'll explain what they do as I do them. The first one you want to um, install is called enable media replace. Now I've typed it into the keyword uh, search bar at the top in the white bar at the top to the right hand side. It's the first option that comes up, Enable Media Replace. Click Install Now. And once it's installed, click on Activate. Now, I have found this one to be um, the most stable and the most versatile um, plugin that I've found uh, in, in my, my 
investigations on how to do this you may find something better and if you do that's great but this is what I found works and I know it will work so I tend to go back to it every single time that's the first plugin you need to install the second plugin that you need to install again uh, at the top under plugins click add new or in the menu bar on the left hand side click uh, under plugins click add new The second plugin that you're going to want to install is called Regenerate Thumbnails. There we go. I'm just going to let it search for that. Um, now this has got a couple of good options for you, uh, a couple of good reasons why you might want it, but um, I'll explain. It will become clear as I go through this tutorial why we're installing it. So what I want you to do just to begin with is just install it. And once it's installed, click the Activate button. So that's two plugins you've just installed. Uh, enable Media Replace and Regenerate Thumbnails. I will come back to why, this is, why these are important in a minute. Back up to your Media Library. If you just go to your Media and your Library uh, link again, you'll see that um, this is the image that we've just uploaded. And now if I mouse over it, there's two new options added. One is replace media and one is regenerate thumbnails. I'll come back to the second one. We're going to replace this media with a completely new image. Click on replace media. That brings up um, this interface. It, this is the image that we're replacing. This is what we're going to replace it with on the right hand side. To choose your file, click on the choose file button and then scroll through, find, use your, your, use your um, explorer to find a file that you want to replace it with. In this case, I'm going to use the man with the star because it's so different. We'll see that it's different. Uh, click on open. So now these, this is what I have on the left hand side. This is what it's going to be replaced with. Um, choose what option you want. There's two ways you can do this. One is to just replace the file that will leave the file name the same no matter what it is. Now if you've got things linking externally to your images or your attachments, this is probably the option that you want to choose. That way you don't have to go through everywhere and say, hey, here's a new um, file name, I need you to relink everything to this new file name uh, or URL web address basically. The only downfall of this is that if it has to be a one-for-one one replacement. If you're replacing a .jpg, it has to be replaced with a .jpg. If you're replacing a PNG, it's got to be replaced with a PNG. If you're replacing a PDF, it's got to re be replaced with a PDF. The other option you have is to replace the file, use new file name and update all the links. That will work as long as you've used things like uh, insert media buttons on your blog and such, not just gone and linked, um, linked things in manually. So it, it's, it's kind of a catch-22 as to how you do it. Um, th this is one of the better ways of... Uh, my, my preference is just to replace the file and make sure that I'm replacing JPG with JPG, PNG with PNG. If I have to replace the file, I know that I've got to spend a little bit of extra time to make sure that I've got all of the instances that, that have been used across my website. Once, the, once you've chosen your options, and I'm just going to choose just replace the file, click on Upload. What that's now going to do is it's going to delete um, this image and it's going to put up the man with the star. You will see though what it's done is it said it's been successful, media file updated, but we've still got the picture of the sky. What's going on? That's because when you upload something into WordPress it generates a thumbnail file um, and that's what's used within the, the WordPress uh, it, system to display things like this. What you need to do is, clear, uh, is regenerate all of your thumbnails and this is going to regenerate all of the image sizes that, that, that um, is attached to that file as well or that, that image as well. So over here on the right hand side you'll see we've got the regenerate thumbnails option. Just click on that. Once you've done that click on regenerate thumbnails. It, it's going to take a couple of seconds to run um, it's told me that it's done skip regenerating. Nope, 
we don't want to skip regenerating we're going to click it again make it run click to go back and force a refresh on the screen okay so what I had to do there is just refresh the screen force a hard refresh on the screen and it's changed my image that's because my browser was um, what we call caching or caching the image that was downloaded so I had to tell it to go and get the new version of the image to display on my screen um, but that's now done so that whenever you go to that link for that image or wherever you've used that image on your, your website now that will all be changed so you can also do that with a PDF okay so I'm going to show you what I mean by that um, I'm going to add a new file to my to my media library through the, through the back end I'm going to drag and drop I'm going to bring up my uh, browser you'll see that I've got a recipes folder here and I've got Hawaiian meatballs that's how I just want to share I've been making these wonderful Hawaiian meatballs which uh, was a recipe given to me by a friend and they are wonderful I do have to recommend them uh, and I want to uh, link that into um, you know a post that I've written about how yummy they are drag that up into uh, the, the box it's going to upload the, P, the PDF file it is a PDF you'll see that I have um, Hawaiian meatballs here and if I go back to my library there is uh, the, the PDF for my Hawaiian meatball which is great now let's um, assume that I find a mistake in that and I need to change it or I found a better way of doing these Hawaiian meatballs and rather than uh, having to upload a new version of it I, I just want to replace this one and say hey guys go and download the new version what I can do from this screen uh, is I can click on the replace media file or me media link sorry it brings up there is no thumbnail because it's um, a PDF file click on choose file um, I'm just going to pause the video while I navigate to the right folder here. there we go uh, you'll see I've got now got a copy of the the Hawaiian meatballs um, file click on open it's telling me it's a file um, I just want it to replace the file I don't want it to have the copy in the end and the, uh, the reason I do that is because I can just send people to the same link again and again and again to download this PDF click upload it's going to upload my new Hawaiian meatballs um, recipe or PDF file to my media library there it is there uh, and it is all done now if I go back to the library I don't have to do a regenerate thumbnails here because um, it doesn't really have a thumbnails uh, associated with it it's a PDF file it doesn't have a thumbnail and that's it that that's how you replace your images um, do make sure you check out the video about how you can get the URL for the attachments in uh, the media library that's a separate video I've done uh, and I'll make sure I've got the link below uh, and if you've got any questions please leave them in the comments thanks guys bye